The mating habits of ceratine bats, Eptesicus ceratinus, have long been a mystery to scientists, as males of the species possess unusually large penises that are much larger than the vaginas of the females. However, a recent study published in the journal Current Biology has revealed that ceratine bats use their large penises not for penetrating females during mating, but as an arm to push the female's tail sheath aside, thereby improving the chances of successful insemination. Ceratine bats are found throughout Eurasia and can be recognized by their long, smoky brown fur, large triangular ears, and distinctive flight pattern. They typically roost in older buildings like churches or abandoned mines. The male bats are largely solitary until fall mating season arrives when they seek out females. Females set up maternity colonies around late May and remain there throughout the breeding season, usually giving birth to a single offspring in late summer. Female serotine bats have unusually long cervixes, the better to store sperm. The males have penises that are seven times longer than the female's vaginas, with a heart-shaped head seven times wider than the vaginal opening. This unusual anatomy has led scientists to wonder how serotine bats mate. To find out, the researchers studied close to 100 videos depicting serotine bats in flagrante. They found that serotine bats mate for an average of 53 minutes, although one mating event lasted for an impressive 12.7 hours. The earliest mating events occurred in September and peaked in frequency in October, although there were four mating events that occurred in March-April. The authors believe that this is evidence that both males and females can store sperm internally for months. The act of mating itself typically begins with a male bat latching onto a female, biting that skin on her nape, and then launching into a combination of hindquarter movement and rapid probing movements of the fully erect penis. Females often emitted social calls during this early mating stage, but the calls ceased once the male bat succeeded in pushing its penis right against the vulva, only moving intermittently after that. At no point did the male bats insert the penis into the vagina, intromission, and even if they'd tried, the fully erect penis head was so large that it wouldn't have fit through the opening anyway. The authors did observe that after mating, the female abdomen had a wet appearance, suggesting the presence of semen, i.e. the males ejaculated onto the female's abdomens. This has previously been observed in little brown bats and noctual bats, but since the researchers did not take a vaginal swab to test for the presence of sperm, this observation is inconclusive. So why might the serotine bat have evolved such an enormous sex organ? The authors suggest that females might use their tail membranes to avoid mating, and the male's long, thick penises could be used to push that membrane aside. The hollow structure observed in the dorsal side of the erect penis might serve as a suction cup and support the maintenance of the copulatory contact the authors wrote. Therefore, the penis's size, shape, and prolonged embrace might further support the transport of sperm cells into the vagina and through the long cervix. The next step is to conduct further studies on the usual penis morphology and to capture the mating behavior of serotine bats in more natural contexts, comparing it with the mating behavior of other bat species.